Hello, hello, hello. It's been a bit of time since I last talked to you all. I hope you have been having a wonderful summer. And as the school year is quickly approaching, I hope you are getting ready for another year of learning. I'm so glad that you have continued to listen to these children's moments during this time of uh, pandemic. And just want to remind you that we are looking to reopen the building. Now we won't be doing Sunday school right away because I still want to see if it is safe with the Delta variant being out there. So we're going to wait a couple months and see how the school reopening goes and then we'll look at reopening our Sunday school and I can't wait to see you all back at the building at the Chicago Temple. Now for today's story I think it kind of fits the theme that I just talked about a little. You might remember the Apostle Paul. Now if you remember anything about Paul you should remember he traveled all over his area of the world telling people about Jesus. And he spent so much time traveling that he got to know a lot of churches in the area. And they were always asking for his help and to see if he could come back and tell them more about Jesus. Well, Paul was a busy man and he couldn't be in two places at once. So sometimes when he couldn't return to a place, he wrote to a, let a letter to that church. One of the churches he was not able to return to was the church in Ephesus. And so what he did was he wrote a letter, and in this letter it says, he's giving them some instructions on how they should live. Stop lying. Always tell the truth to one another, because we are all sisters and brothers through Jesus Christ. You are bound to get angry sometimes, but don't harm others with your anger, and get rid of it before the sun goes down. If you have taken things from others, stop it. Instead, work so you can help others. Speak words that are good and that build up people and the community of the church. Don't say words that hurt others. Be kind and caring towards others and forgive everyone. Remember that God has forgiven us through Jesus Christ. Imitate God as you imitate those you love. Live and love. Follow the example of Jesus and then you will be an imitator of God. Now this little section of the letter gives us a lot to think about and I want us to think about it in two ways. The first way is as you return to school, what would it look like if you would act in the way Paul said for us to act at school? How would that help your interactions with your teacher? if you say nice and kind things, if you don't lie, if you build your teacher up? How would it look if that was how you interacted with not just your friends, but maybe even those people at school that you sometimes disagree with? Paul has given us a way to live that is good, and that is a way that is exemplified through Jesus Christ. So my encouragement and my hope for all of you this school year is that you take these words from Paul to heart and that you live in the ways that lift others up. You're quick to forgive. You don't lie and you use words that build people up and build a stronger community. The other thing I want us to remember is that even though we've been separated, we too can be like Paul. We can find other ways to be with one another, whether that's a quick Zoom call or a FaceTime call, whether that's writing a letter like Paul wrote. We can stay in community even when we're at a distance. And that's why I love these letters of Paul, because they give us so much to think about for our own lives today. For today's song, we're going to sing one that we've sung before. It's called Let There Be Peace on Earth. It says, let there be peace on earth and let it begin with me. We see this illustrated in Paul's words. We are called to respond to Christ's command for our lives to love one another to build each other up and to forgive. And so what better song to sing than for us to be reminded that we should be bringers of peace here and now. Would you sing with me? So 
on earth the peace that was meant to be with God as our Father. Thanks again for joining me for another installment of our online children's moment. It's so good to be back with all of you. I can't wait to see some of your faces in September. And before we go, let me close us out in a word of prayer. God of love, God of peace, we pray that we remember to live the way Paul told the people in the Ephesian church to live, that in this school year, our students might live and choose the way of love, peace, and acceptance to all that they meet. It is in your holy name we pray. Amen. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you all have a wonderful week, and I will see you next time. Have a good one. Bye.